welcome back to your 30 days of yoga. Today we're going to go over lizard pose, which is a really great pose for finding a little more space in the hips, just like we did yesterday in Malasana. This just has a little more flow to it, a little more movement, so it might feel a little yummier. We're going to come to our downward facing dog, spread the fingertips wide, tuck the toes, send the hips all the way up and back. So you're in this space, you've been here before, you know where you are. Heart is reaching towards the thighs. On your inhale, send your right leg high towards the ceiling. Energy through the right foot. As you exhale, we're just gonna to start to draw the right knee towards the right elbow. Just find a little bit of space there, bringing the heart forward, really rolling kind of into your high plank with the right knee to the right elbow. And then on an inhale, send it all the way up and back. Find your three-legged dog. Just finding that space to prepare. So right knee comes all the way back to the right elbow on your exhale and then start to step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. Stay high on the ball of the back foot, shimmy it away if you need a little bit more space, and then hands plant inside the right foot. Roll the shoulders, lift the heart. So we're here in a sort of wide-legged low lunge. Just find a little bit of space, rock forward and back on the ball of the back foot. Find some, find some space for your left hip to really open and your right hip to just get into that nitty gritty part. Maybe it feels nice to take a few circles round one way and then the other. And then when you find you've got a little bit more to play with, lower down the back knee and untuck the back toe. Roll the shoulders, lift the heart. Lizard pose. So maybe you're just staying here and maybe this is enough for you today. Can you keep sending energy through the hands and press into the top of the foot? Just find this real energy through the body. Or maybe you want to come onto the outside edge of your right foot. So you roll the right foot open and your knee has a little bit more space to move away. Right hand comes to the right thigh. Now be careful not to press on the right knee and just keep the hand on the thigh and just encourage the hip to open a little. Roll the right shoulder. Can you lift the heart slightly here? And if you're here and you find it's doing wonders for you, take some breaths. We'll take three together. So wherever you are, maybe your foot is just here and your hand's right down. We'll take three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more. Inhale. Exhale, three. If your foot is rolled out, bring it back through center. So just to take this perhaps a little further, if you've got the space, you're either staying here or maybe you start to draw your hands down a little further away from you, bringing your elbows, your forearms all the way down towards the mat. So this is full lizard pose. Roll the shoulders and lift the heart. Maybe you want to tuck that toe and lift the back knee. Maybe you need more space finding whatever you need to, need to here, or letting the knee come down, untucking the toe. This might be too much at this stage. So go where you've got the space, where you can breathe and stay really long in the breath. It's strong in the right hip. Take another breath together, inhale. Exhale. And if you're down, gently we're gonna to start to pad the hands all the way back up. Hands are planting down, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee and step the right foot all the way back. Come to your downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling through the feet just a little here, finding any space you need. Hands are planting. Start to send your left leg high towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. On your exhale, left knee comes to the left elbow. Roll the heart forward. Inhale, send it high, three-legged dog. As you exhale now, left foot to the outside edge of your left hand. So taking it all the way to the elbow and then stepping it round. Stay high on the ball of the back foot, shimmy the leg away. Find whatever you need to here, maybe rolling forward and back, maybe taking these circles around one way and then the other, just getting into what you have. You might notice that one hip is a little tighter than the other. Totally fine, totally normal. Now lower down the back knee and untuck the toe. Again, we're lifting the heart, we're inviting the right hip to melt in. And maybe we're just staying here, maybe this is enough. Or you come onto the outside edge of the left foot, so you roll the foot open. Left hand comes to the left thigh, gently press it away, be careful not to press on the knee. Left shoulder rolls down the back. And you just lift the heart and you just stay here, soften the face, 
long in the breath. We'll take three breaths here together. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, bring it all the way back through center if you are there. And maybe staying here, or if you want to go a little bit further, start to draw the hands out, bring the forearms down, elbows come down, roll the shoulders, lift the heart. Either staying here or tucking the toe, lifting the knee, finding whatever you need to. And just sending the breath here, allowing it to be really lovely and long. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. And on your inhale, gently lifting the heart, patting the hands back in if you were down, tucking the back toe, lifting the knee, stepping the left foot all the way back into your downward facing dog, pedaling the feet, letting the head be really lovely and loose, and then bring the knees down, untuck the toes, send the hips back, come back to a lovely seat. And that is your lizard pose, great for the hips, great for the breath.